7.32, Wednesday evening, a little earlier tonight. Uh, I've got a call a bit later on, so um, uh, Dave and Lynn Nutt were uh, happy to get on a call a little earlier today, which is great. Uh, and I'm ready to dive straight on in. So first of all, senior consultants, uh, Dave and Lynn Nutt, are you there? Yes, we yeah. are. Fantastic. Okay, lay down me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how, have- how was it? It was good. I first of all, I had a business presentation, a one-on-one this afternoon from a previous call this week, mm-hmm. and that went extremely well. He is ready to get in. However, I'm going to spread this out to you because it might your feedback might help somebody else who's listening. <clears throat> he doesn't have a social security number. Mm-hmm. He's, it's in process, and he said it would take about another month. So my plan is to keep him connected in the meantime and get some training under his belt. He is actually going to the Thursday night power trip business presentation tomorrow night. That's okay, great. It. And uh, am uh- I... Go ahead. Well, I, I'm just, uh, yeah, I mean, when someone doesn't have a social, uh, if they don't have, there are a couple of other things you can use. I'm not sure exactly what they are. You may want to check with consultant support. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know with some of our um, uh, uh, our fellow Abbott people south of the border um, yeah. who didn't necessarily have a social, but they had another number, a T number, a T, T something number. I can't remember okay. what it is, but... Um, I don't know if that would be of any assistance at all, but uh, if not, then yeah. I mean, I would basically start working the business with him. Uh, yeah. You know, not not wait for the month, but you know, start you know getting his written list together, getting him on the purge calls, and you know, just start you know start building the business, and then when everybody's ready to go on the day he gets his uh, social security number, just dive straight on in and get going. But um, yeah, uh, uh, red tape like a like a social security number. I don't mean that to be disparaging, but um, you know that mustn't be a reason not to start building something as important as this. Just you know, Correct. just get on with it. You know, I've Correct. never let anything stop me starting something. Um, and because uh, yeah, you can you can kind of disappear up your own backside if you start worrying about those types of things. Just get started, get excited, and get going and building the business. So yeah, absolutely great, and uh, that's very good. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. I did call my friend Sharinda. Was not able okay. to talk to her. I left a message for her to call me back, and I have no doubt that she will. It's not unusual for us to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. I also had a call with Barbara not too long ago, and we had a very long talk. It did not turn into an invitation because she still has some situations in her life that I was unaware of. Timing is mm-hmm. still not good. Her, her mother-in-law still has cancer and is in hospice. And so okay. I basically became a listening ear, wanted to know what I could do to support her, and will actually, both of us are attending a volunteer event on the 18th, so we'll get to spend some time together. So my goal is just to continue to develop that relationship and go from there. I think timing. Hundred percent agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you know, we always talk about patience on the call. Uh, anything else in her situation would be totally inappropriate and disrespectful. Um, but but even if something less serious was stopping someone, if the timing's not right, the timing's not right. Um, and that, that's, you know, there's no hard and fast rule on that. You know, you kind of go with your gut, but, uh, you know, if it's a situation where someone's going through a very difficult time or a very sad time or whatever, just as you quite rightly said, Lynn, is just be the lending ear, uh, the listening ear, whatever you can do to help nurture the relationship. And when the timing's right, the timing's right. But mm-hmm. up until then you move on, you move on and, um, get on with the next name where the timing's perfect for them. So right. perfect. I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. That was fantastic. Okay, so that's how my day went, and it was. Okay, Dave? Okay, uh, Galen, who I left the message with yesterday, called me back, and mm-hmm. we're going to schedule a lunch in May because he, he's busy until then. 
And that's the guy that I'm just going to, we're just going to lunch, get back together, uh, catch up. And then after that, I'll, I'll, I'll do the invite. Uh, met with, met with Dane today. Um, found out he's an, he's a marketing consultant with Ambit Energy. So we laughed and, uh-huh. and uh, we got to, you know, I told him I could, you know, anything I could do to support him, let me know. And we kind of chit chatted for a little bit and, and, and uh, you know, kind of left it that way. Uh, Ralph, who's, I called who's team is he in as a matter of interest, Dave? Uh, somebody out of Duncanville. Um, hmm. And he's just not done anything with it. He's busy working his building his construction business. So he's not done anything with it at all. He's been in a little over a year. It's interesting. Um, in, in all the time I've been in Ambit, um, Obviously now, you know, I'm an EC, people know a little bit maybe who, who I am a little bit more, but um, all the way through MC, RC, and SC, I was never asked to become uh, a consultant other than the first person who ever asked me, uh, huh. which is quite, which is quite um, uh, surprising to me. You know, everybody says, oh, you know, I'm it's starting to, you know, be get a little bit saturated and this type of thing. I mean, if, if you only knew how wrong that statement is, I mean, it's just it, the, the opportunity is still absolutely massive in front of us and uh yeah as i say in, in eight years for me never to have been asked um again to take a look at the business even when i'm kind of out of state where people may not know who i am um yeah i'm really surprised you know so and, and again it's just an indication that we are far from saturation but uh yes okay so good deal so i i, I called ralph left a message for him <clears throat> he called me back he's traveling but he called me back anyway so I, I used the direct approach, um, told him that I wanted him to take a look at what I'm doing uh, so he could refer people if it was relevant. And I said, uh, let me just be direct with you, Ralph. I'd like you to uh, look at this uh, because I'm looking for business partners. I'd like you to look at it and consider it being a business partner. And so we scheduled a time for uh, next Monday, 9 o'clock Central Time, uh, he'll be Eastern time. He said he stays up late. That will, that'll work. So that's, we got a, a, a scheduled meeting for that's that. A that's a score. Can, can yep. I, do you mind if I give you a little bit of coaching on that? Please. <clears throat> and it's a, it's a very minor nuance because you did it <clears throat> perfectly. The, the only thing I would change is a, and it's a small nuance. I would maybe, and this is just an opinion. This is, um, just what I would do, uh, neither is right or wrong, but this one feels a little bit more right for me. <clears throat> Instead of I'm looking for business partners, I would like you to be my business partner. Um, okay. The nuance, but looking for business partners makes it a little more shotgun okay. approach, whereas looking for I'd like you to consider being my business partner says I'm interested in you and only you. And it's a nuance, but I, I like that. I don't know how you feel about that, but I, no, I, I like, like that approach. It makes some – okay, good, good. Okay, good. Lynn, like what it. do you think on that? Do you agree? Yes, I do. Okay, fantastic. Good. <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. That's a score. That's uh, 100% um, success on that particular call for us on the third call. Again, just the opportunity to show the business is what we're looking for. Uh, did you manage to get any more calls done today, both of you, or did you? Uh, I mean, that, that was pretty I, much I, your, your quota. No, I was. I called Rusty and left a message for him. He's the one that mm-hmm. looked at the business, uh, I don't know, 18 months ago, um, and just asked him to call me back. So I just left it at okay. that, and, and he may or may not. Okay. Uh, just a, a, an interesting, just something that's cropped, it came to mind, and I, I used to talk about it a little bit more. Uh, more often back, uh, you know, a year or so ago. But um, the one thing I really like about this um, purge call structure, whether it's two calls a day or ten calls a day, <clears throat> once you've made a decision to do what you're going to do, 30 to 60 minutes a day, or if you're half-time or full-time on the whole thing, um, there's, a, there's the other side of the coin, which I think is really, really important. Sometimes in a business like this, Um, you don't know when enough is enough. And so, um, you know, sometimes we feel guilty because we haven't done enough calls or we haven't done any calls for a few days. But there's also another area where one can can fit in in, in this kind of 
guilt uh, area, which is where if I'm not pushing, if I'm off work, if I'm not pushing my ambit business, I'm not working hard enough. And that's, that's not good. Um, I think you should always be, have an ear open for an opportunity. You know, we always talk about on the call, if I hear pain, I will offer help. Uh, it's kind of like a mantra that I like. But here's the other thing, is you also need to know when to switch off too. And I think when you have something like a purge call, um, when you say, okay, well, <clears throat> 10 calls in the week, um, two calls a day, one accountability call, that's my lot, and that will get me to EC in 18 months to two years. That's the decision I've made. And the great thing about that is you are then able to switch off without guilt. And I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but I know in, in pretty much most businesses, I, I never knew when to really turn off or allow myself relaxation. Does, does that make sense with you guys at all? Absolutely. It, it does. In fact, I was feeling a little bit, not guilty exactly today, but like I hadn't done enough. But today, with everything else we're handling outside of Ambit, it would have been mm-hmm. hard to fit anything else in. We just had our kitchen tile taken up. We've got dust all over the house from that. We've got this mm-hmm. and we've got that and, and life. And, and yet... You know, I'll be quite honest, Dave and I have been in the business for five and a half years. So there have been times when we just sat back for a long yep. time, didn't do a lot. And I, we've been blessed to get to know some of the leaders and having conversations with them. And I realized that most of them, most of them really sacrificed to get to where they are. They work really hard, and and the ones that didn't, they were at least very consistent. So this is something mm-hmm. that that Dave and I get to do, something we want to do, and we we've got momentum is important. If you stop the ball rolling, it, yeah. it, it takes a lot more effort to get it going again. So we get totally the true. ball rolling now. But I, th- I think this country is, as Americans uh, and English folks, um, we're, we're the same. We, we kind of uh, are not brainwashed, but it's indoctrinated into us that we, we should always be working and, you know, and, and rela- you know, you know, if you're sitting back and, you know, watching TV and someone comes in the room, there's this little pang of guilt. Oh, I shouldn't be sitting here relaxing. And it's, it's very distinctive to, because uh, I've traveled quite a lot, very distinctive, uh, very typical uh, of probably America more than anywhere else in the world, that if you're not working, if you're not doing something to make money or to be a worker bee, then you should feel guilty. And there's many other countries that don't have that. I do business with Switzerland um, with uh, my music box business. And uh, if I want to do any business in July, forget it. I mean, pretty much the whole of Switzerland shuts down in July because everybody's taking a month's vacation. And I think, um, I think we need to be aware of that. And I say that to be aware of this because, you know, we're always talking about what we should do in 30 to 60 minutes a day and da, da, da. But I think it's always important to turn the coin over um, and look at the other side of the coin and say, when is, enough, is it, when is enough enough? And that is when you have something like a daily method of operation and a weekly method of operation and a plan, which you're going to do for Frank, which you talked about before the call gets started. Yeah. When you have a plan, when you've done enough for the day, it's okay for you and uh, you two to look at each other and say, you know what, let's go watch TV. Let's go, go out for you know, a walk. Let's go have dinner. Let's go watch a movie. Let's switch off. And I think that's mm-hmm. very important. I think this, the, the purge call or any kind of structure will help you to, to look at when you don't need to be working as well as when you do need to be working. And it's Because uh, very often we only look at when should we be working. But also, when shouldn't we be working? And that's what I think is very important and, and, and an opportunity to, you know, to bring it up on this call for those who are listening in. So, um, okay, well, with that being said, uh, do we need to get some more invites together? Yes. Okay. So, David, uh, go ahead. Okay, Bruce, that should be the next one on your list. Okay. My brother-in-law. 
He uh, okay. he lives in he lives in North Carolina, but he works for a Japanese company. So he okay. knows he knows people in Japan. He's looked at the business before, and he's a former entrepreneur. Uh, just uh, wasn't ready to do network marketing. So I would my thought is to go back to him, and do a drip, let him know we're in, in Japan. Uh, and be very direct with him and say, I'm looking for a business partner. I, you, know, you need to take another look at this. Thoughts? Okay. Uh, bearing in be mind – I can uh, be very direct. Go ahead. I was, I was going to say, bearing in mind the call we had yesterday, um, do you have any thoughts about how you would approach him? Probably very similar with uh, the three, for three points, the three things. Uh, what's the change in the ambit? What's change. The yeah, with us, yeah, with us, with Ambit, and and how is he doing? Um, yeah, I definitely want to emphasize, let him know that we're in Japan. I'm going to emphasize that, to have, since he works for a Japanese company. Mm-hmm. Honda. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, this is a classic. This is a typical, um, you know, uh, call back from the drip list, um, and uh, that's exactly what I would do. Um, I don't know that we necessarily need to go through it again, um, other than just to talk about what's changed in Ambit since you last looked. Obviously, the move to Japan is important, but you might want to leave that till the end when okay. you're closing it. Um, then what's changed in you? You know, you've been really happy with what's going on. You've, you know, you're, you're, you're continuing to move up through the business, very getting ever closer to the next promotion. You've already promoted twice. Um, you're, you're, you and um, Lynn are confident that you know, this is going to fulfill your why, which is that your retirement is going to be full. Um, but uh, the other thing, Bruce, is that um, I know everybody, you know, uh, everybody's life changes. And so I always make sure I, I, I consider myself a professional in this business. Uh, and you may even want to say I consider myself a network marketing professional and emphasize professional because I really like that. And I always make sure that I keep my uh, keep people up to date with what's going on. Um, and so that's what you've just done. But uh, more importantly, the most important thing, Bruce, is that um, since we spoke, we've moved into Japan. Uh, and I wanted to reach out to you for a couple of reasons. This is kind of like point four. First of all, obviously, you'll, you'll have connections there that um, uh, may be able to help me. But secondly, again, depending on what's happened or changed in your life, to, to have another look and see if this would make sense for, uh, as a business um, for yourself and become a partner in this business with me. Um, so that, that's kind of how I would maybe do that. Uh, do you know any of his whys? Do you, do you know if he has any pain? Boy, not much. He has no children. He's, okay. he, he pinches his pennies. Very yeah. Secure. And he's very financially secure. Okay. Well, again, we're not going to be emotionally tied um, to whether he says yes or no. Uh, it may still be right. a no. But the point is, because you use point four, which is two, a, a two-pronged approach, which is, you know, you can refer us to this type of thing. And, and, but secondly, I want to be direct and say, I want you to take another look because now we're in Japan. I'd like you to consider being my business partner again. If he says no to that, you've, got this, you've already thrown the ball up in the air to knock it out of the park and say, well, look, you know, um, obviously, any connections um, with Japan would be wonderful. Um, so, I, I think that that's that's what I would do. The, the three the, the three changes approach, and obviously we're focusing on the factor in Japan. Now, I think you're completely right. Okay, good. So, you want you, you want to pick on Lynn now? Yeah, Lynn, come on, it's you now, girl. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Come on. Yes. Brannigan. Brannigan is 30-ish, and what she's single, very ambitious. I love her spirit. She wants more out of life. She works hard. She's the kind of person I really would like in my business just because of who she is. And her spirit. As okay, far you just, as... You, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> any pain in her life? I don't know of any. Uh, let me give you an example of the kind of person she is. Although she was very much in love with a former boyfriend, 
he wasn't ambitious enough for her. That sounds wow. really cruel. I just worded it. I know. No, not at all. I don't think so. You've got to spend your life with someone. You've got to have similar outlooks in life. I agree. Okay. But he's looking for not just someone like-minded to spend the rest of her life with, but she's more focused on creating a positive a wonderful life for herself. She wants more out of life. And uh, her bottom line is she's the kind of person I want in my business, and that's why I put her on my list. Okay. Yeah, this, this to me is a no-brainer. Um, what, how would you approach this, do you think? Direct. Yeah, direct and, and genuine compliments, totally. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, and so, so, so I talk, obviously, the same starts as we always have. I, uh, listen, uh, Brangan, it's, it's uh, uh, Lynn Nutt here, a little bit of a hurry, um, but I've been meaning to give you a call. You've been on my mind. Do you have a couple of minutes? And she'll say, yes, say, look, um, uh, I don't know if you know, but um, uh, Dave and I have been um, running a business. Uh, we've had, been working on a business project recently to really help us, um, you know, get, uh, uh, get the most out of our retirement. Obviously, we're closer to retirement than you, but we want to really enjoy our retirement. We want to really live life. We want to get as much out of life as we can. So see how I'm kind of relating the why to her why? Slightly changed it a little bit, but. We're older than she is, so yeah. we're going to be getting more out of our retirement life. But that's so so because I'm gearing that up for the next part, which is um, so um, you know. So we started this business project. We're super excited about it. it's going really well for us. Uh, but the, here's the reason why I wanted to speak to you, Brannigan. First of all, I just want you to know what I'm doing. Uh, it's really important to me. I know you're well connected, and if there's an opportunity where you could ever refer, that would be wonderful. Uh, but secondly, and Brannigan, let me be direct with you. I've, I've always, you know, watched you from a little bit of a distance. You know, you've got a great spirit. You're very, very ambitious. But, but here's the thing I know about you. Here's the thing I know about you. Just like Dave and I, I know you want more. I know you want to get more out of life. And I'm, I think the business that we have, because it's doing so much for us, could be exactly the right vehicle for you too. Now, I don't know if it's going to be your cup of tea or not, and Brannigan, that is fine. That is perfectly fine. But let's get together for coffee on Thursday or Friday at five. You know, uh, let me show you what I'm doing and, and, you know, show you why we're excited about it and see if it makes sense for you too. So that's what I would do on that. And, and it's very similar to what we've done before. But, again, my favorite word for the year is nuance. I think I'm going to get a T-shirt with nuance written on it because <laughs> – the nuance of that invite, which because it's slightly different than the other ones we've done, is, is when you know her, what she wants out of life, and it's not necessarily to answer a pain, it's just that you know she wants something, you, you know, and we want to relate. People, you know, like to relate with each other. So when you're explaining your why, I would use similar wording in your why as to what you're going to say to her as to why she thinks she should look at this business. Does okay. that make sense? Yes, it does. The other um, person, go ahead. Yes. No, no, that's it. That's it. Okay. The other person I'm thinking about is Kelly. And Kelly and I don't know each other well. Kelly is someone I met through, I was on an education foundation for, for the school district. I met her there. She used to, well, she does still work for the school district, but she was also a key person on the uh, Chamber of Commerce. She knows a lot of people. She's very well connected. That's why I want to talk to her or get her to look. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts? How do you think you'd uh, approach this one? I. Uh, Yeah, this one's not so easy. Yes, exactly. Does she know, if you said this is Lynn Nutt, would she know who you are? She would probably have to think about it for a moment. If she saw me, she would know who I am, but um, she, might, she might have to think about it. Okay. 
uh, because this person could be, you know, the next DC in your business. So I think we need to do this right. Uh, is there ever is would there ever be an opportunity where you'll get to see her face to face at all, like at a church or at um, you know the the at the um, uh, at any of the other events you were talking about? I I took those events off my plate <laughs> and started networking other places. But potentially, uh, here's the thing though: if I called her and reminded her of how we know each other, then she would know who I was. If that helps or if that makes any difference. Okay, here's what I would probably do. This is very business-like, your connection. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not 100%. I might make this a little bit more of a business appointment. That's what I would say. Uh, yeah, and, and keep it on a very business level and say, uh, hey, Kelly, this is Lynn Nutt. Uh, we know each other from da 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 And she'll go, oh, yes. Right, so you need to, to, to get that. Uh, and then I'd say, listen, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I'm just, I'm just about to, to meet Dave um, for whatever, whatever it is, whatever your hurry is. Um, but I've been meaning to give you a call. Um, Dave and I uh, are running. We, we, we have a successful business that we're running together um to to help us as we you know move towards retirement we we do this alongside our our, our jobs um and uh, i've been meaning to give you a call because the the one the, the the few times that we have met the one thing that i i have got from from you is that you're extremely well connected and i basically think that we should just to get together um for a one on one uh, she should know what that is, um, and, and just get to know each other a little better and see if there's any synergy in our businesses. Um, okay. So I'm not specifically offering the business here, because it just feels a little too far away. Uh, it's also not an old friend that you're going to get back in touch with. So this is a situation where you want to network with her. Mm-hmm. So, so that that's how I would approach it. You know, I would, uh, I'd, you know, I'd say, you know, yeah, you, you have a business that's going very well. Very well. You're looking uh, to expand in the DFW area, and you're looking to, you know, to meet and network with folks who are well connected. Um, and uh, I, I basically like to get together for lunch and see how uh, our businesses, you know, ha- how they synergize. Well, you know, and that yeah. say, you know, I'm fr- I'm free on Wednesday. Uh, but also on Monday, uh, Monday morning for breakfast next week. Uh, what, what should be better for you? I like that. Thank you. Because that's a difficult one. Mm-hmm. When, it's some, when it's someone you don't know, uh, when it's someone you don't know, sometimes what you also might want to do uh, as a little bit of a trick, uh, I really, really like um, people connecting me. So... Lynn, if you knew someone who was in the music business that you thought would be good for my music business, mm-hmm. I would say, can you do me a favor? Can you make an email introduction? And, and you'd say, yeah, sure. And so what you'd do is you would email me and you'd email the other person and say, hey, Richard, this is Sally. Um, Sally is in, you know, she works with uh, the Dallas Symphony Orchestra, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, she's very well connected, very nice person. Uh, Sally, this is Richard. Richard has a music box business, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So what you could do as a little trick is do you know someone who knows Kelly and who knows you? Yes. Okay. So what, cause what you could do is ask them to give you an email introduction. Mm-hmm. And so it's really nice. So then let's say that other person is Joe, right? Joe introduces you to exactly the same way as I was just talking about. It's really great then for you to reach out to Kelly and say, hey, you know, Joe said that we should know each other. Um, you know, uh, I've got, and literally just go straight into closing the time. Okay. You're welcome for that one, by the way. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This week has been invaluable. I've got all these tidbits that have made such a difference in my business. And I'm, I'm sincere when I say that. Well, I appreciate that very much. Thank you. But it is very often those little details and those little, again, nuances that can make all the difference between this being a really fun game that you're playing mm-hmm. to some, a real grind that you feel you have to do to make some extra money. You know? 
that you can yes. really turn it into something that's very quite enjoyable. Yes. Hey, can okay. I throw All one right. more name out for you? Can you what, sorry? Throw one more name out for you. Yes, yes. I didn't put her on the original list. Her name mm-hmm. is Linda. And I actually want to share the business with her in part because of some of her connections. Her father is a pastor. And she also is very well connected in the church. And I know her through a group that I'm involved with. In fact, I'm mentoring her. So I I don't know her really well, but I know her well enough that um, we can pick up the phone and and talk. Okay. So how would you like to approach this? This should be easy. I have this laughing at or laughing with This one is fair. You, you want me to help you with it? Yes, please. This is, this is why item number four is so useful, because you could put the emphasis on either one of the, the two things that we talk about, either the referrals or the looking at it as a business. And this one, you probably put more effort, e- emphasis on the referral side. So being in a hurry, same as before, talking about your why, so they're listening with their heart and not their head, same as before. Um, the, uh, you started a new business project, it's going really, really well for you. And Linda, and then I'm going into number four now. Linda, um, I'd like you to take a look at what I'm doing because, um, you know, with our discussions we've having or with our interaction um, we've been having, um, I know that you and your dad are both – Super, super well connected, and I'd really like you to know what I'm doing. So mm-hmm. the emphasis there is on the first half of number four in the in the invite. Um, and if you want to, you can say, and you know what, There's, uh, one never knows. It may actually be something that you know you would want to consider doing too. But quite frankly, I want to talk to you with regard to the oppor- the referral opportunity. So you can put okay. it in there if you want. Now, if you do put it in there, you've still got to do the takeaway. You know, uh, so if you've said uh, it's all about the, the referrals, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? It, it may, I'm just, I just thinking it may actually be something um, that you'd be interested in, you know, in taking a look at for yourself. I don't know if it'll be your cup of tea, of course, but, uh, you, know, you, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. But let's get together on Friday, have a look at what I'm doing and um, – uh, it, it, well, let's, let, let's get together on Friday and have a look at what I'm doing. And if, if Friday doesn't work, let's get together on Saturday, like about one okay. o'clock. What's going to be best for you? Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Dave? I'm up. Mauricio. You got him on your list? Hold on. Let me just I'm quickly look. I have to go back to lots of pages. So, Mauricio, yes. Okay. He, he does not live in this country. Okay, where but, he ha- but he has. He has. He has a business. He's in Central America. Uh, he has a business. I was in a leadership um, <clears throat> course that he, he was one of the coaches. Uh, great guy. I can pick up the phone and call him at any time. Um, I would, I, my thoughts are the direct approach. He is extremely well networked. He's a very smart businessman. Uh, you know, take a look. You know, I would like you to look at what I'm doing uh, that you may refer somebody if it's relevant. And let me be direct with you, Mauricio. Um, I'd like you to look at this as being my business partner. Yeah. Is, the, he, is he American? No. No, but... Wait a minute. Lynn's Lynn, Lynn, correcting me. He's not, but he, you wouldn't know it to talk to him. He speaks excellent English. He lived in the U.S. for quite some time. He comes from a very well-connected family. He knows lots of people. He works for an American company. In fact, I think he still might. He may have his own business by now, but he knows a lot of people. And he probably Uh, has And and he has an American Social Security number? I'm not sure. Yeah, I would be sure. I'd be pretty confident of that. He works for, for... Years, right? Okay. Dickie, not Dickie's barbecue, but the other Dickie. Yeah, the the Dickie's uh, 
close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would just go straight for the, for the same approach as we have done, exactly as you said. Um, you know, referrals and then be direct uh, business partner. Uh, and then obviously you're going to have to, the, you know, when are you going to be by a computer? Obviously you're not going to meet with him. When right. are you going to be by a computer so I can show you what we're doing? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what I would do. Excellent. Easy. Excellent. And this is, the, this is the great thing, by the way. The more you do this invite, uh, and again, I, I, you know, some people may think this, in, this whole invite <laughs> process is, you know, complicating something that should be very simple. I actually believe this is totally simple. But I, and I think more than anything else, once you have the six elements down, the ability to invite becomes so visceral, so uh, innate, so automatic. It's crazy. Like, for example, I mean, I've been doing this call for two years now, and I've had everybody thrown at me to invite. You know, the, the easiest invite all the way to the hardest invite. And, um, uh, and every now and again, I mean, I would say I could count on one hand where we've had to really think super hard about it. But, but now everybody fits into probably one of five or six invites. And you'll find yourself being able to use this invite, you know, just like off the cuff, just like you know exactly what to do, you know exactly what to say, and it actually is super, super simple. Um, and it, it, all, all I would say, the only thing that stops it being as simple as possible is I do not believe in one invite fits all. Um, so, um, you know, the more you really kind of uh, hone in on these invites um, and, and duplicate and teach them to your team and duplicate them with your team, help your team put these invites together, the more it'll become totally intuitive. Um, so, uh, like you just did with Mauricio, you knew exactly the way to do it. Um, you know, just literally copy and paste, still write it down, you know, mm -hmm. still have it there. Um, but uh, no, that, that, that's great. Good job. Great job. So another good day. Yep. Yes. All right. Yes. So is there anything else we need to cover today? I think we're good. We get to go to power trip tomorrow night. So I just thought that. Um, oh, yeah. I will be there. Oh, I'll see Sam. What's that? I'll get to introduce you to our guest, Sam. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So definitely hunt me down. I will do that. Fantastic. All right, chaps. Well, I'll let you go. Um, uh, thanks for, um, uh, for, you know, for getting the timing to, to suit me on this one. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Sounds good. Perfect. See you then. Thank, Thank you, you, Richard. All right, guys. Hey, no problem. Anytime. See you soon. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.